Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be testing Deus Ex Mankind Divided on Steam Deck. So, if you're watching this video right now, the game is free on the Epic Games Store. I'm playing the Epic Games Store version through the Heroic Games Launcher. If you want to know how to do that, link in the description and the pinned comments. I made a tutorial on how to install this game, which is very easy. And I'm doing this because most people that are watching this video probably got it for free. So if you have it on Steam, like I do, but I'm using, again, the Epic Store version, expect a little bit less stutter on the Steam version because of the pre, pre-cached um, shaders. Otherwise, it runs basically the same. So 800p, these are the settings. I lowered some stuff to maintain performance, such as volumetric lighting and tessellation. Otherwise, it's a mix between medium and high, which I think looks pretty good. Also, sharpen. It's a little bit over sharpened. I'm not sure if that's the look of the game that they were looking for, but it's there if you want to use it. If you look at the trees at the right, you can kind of notice that it's a little bit too much. But I'll keep it on for now. So how does the game run? Well, pretty good, actually. I'm in the Prey uh, environment, which is one of the cities in the game, one of the parts of the city. And you'll notice when traversing, for the first time especially, make sure... Oh, I forgot, the X11. Don't select the X12, it stutters, stutters like hell. So go the X11 for this one. And uh, I'm targeting 40 FPS, as you can see. And the game still looks pretty good, in my opinion. So that's why I'm running around this area, like, doing nothing. Because when you look at new areas, it likes to stutter for a second, and then it stabilizes. But looking into the distance doesn't seem to be much of an issue. So, again, targeting 40s, because otherwise we're CPU bound, unfortunately. You can stop being CPU bound by going the X12, but there you are GPU bound. So I don't think it's worth uh, lowering the settings further. If you want to increase the settings, you can do so. It'll run at 30 FPS. But in a game like this, a first-person shooter, I think I'd rather play it at 40s, at least on the same deck. So yeah. Pretty good, but the stutter is real, especially the first time you play in these bigger locations. And in this game, you can go guns blazing, but it's not recommended, but it's an option. I'm trying to just tranquilize around on a full suit guard. Good on me. <laughs> and I died. Easily. Which reminds me a lot of the cyberpunk death thing. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, another part of Prague. That I forgot that I was. My saves are from 2017. That's the last time I finished the game. I'm now on New Game Plus. So yeah, good stuff. I highly recommend this game. There's another part of the city that is separate from the one that I showed you at the beginning. Look at that parallax occlusion mapping. Looking good. And again, we're targeting 40s. So we should be good to go. Some stutters here and there, which will be alleviated uh, for the most part playing the Steam version instead of the Epic version because of the pre-cache shaders. Okay, so let's swap into handheld so you can see how it looks on the small screen. We're now in handheld and as you can see the frame limit 40, 40 hertz. And make sure that inside this game, if you have it only, if you have it on the Epic Store instead of Steam, then you enable VSync. Otherwise, the frame rate cap won't apply. And so far, so good. It's 40. The frame time is a little bit spiky, but that's how the game has always been, at least in my experience. Especially in bigger cities such as this one, it's clear that the game is doing something, loading in the background, the next chunks of the city. But the more you play, the less it happens. 
I think it's completely fine. And it still looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. It's been a while since I've played this game. I'm already on New Game Plus. <laughs> and I've enjoyed every second of it. I actually imported my save from my Steam version to my Epic version and it worked right out of the box, so that's perfect. That's why I can show you the city and more interesting stuff than just the intro. But my saves are from 2016 basically, 2016, 2017. And now it's free on the Epic Games Store, mind blown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me pass. Thank you. And now I can take the bus. Sorry, the train. So yeah, you have areas separated by loading screens. But it's not as bad as a Bethesda game when it comes to that. There is big areas that have small open worlds. So buildings are like the small open worlds. And you can access them in different ways. You can enter through a vent, hack a door, hack a panel, hack a computer and read the person's emails. So yeah, you can do basically whatever you want in that regard. So again, highly recommended, especially if you like immersive sims. This is a great option. Oh yeah. I always thought they were like <laughs> And as you can see this game is not made to go for you for to go against blazing. If you want to do it you can, but not recommended. At least not in the difficulty that I'm playing at. Enough chit chat when it comes to that. Let's continue. Let's see what's in here. Oh nice. Yeah, the art style for this game. It's fantastic. You cannot hear the music because I mute the music for copyright reasons. Okay, this is not the way. Let me change my gun for something else. I just don't Okay, I have this pistol. An ammo type, regular pistol ammo, thank you. Let's crush the party. Not a single shot in, huh? I need gyro I need to enable gyro controls for this. Oh, he was already dead, never mind. But you got all the package, screen space reflections, nice shadows, nice materials. And you can do everything wrong if you want to. Also, it's first person, but when you take cover, you're third person, which I like. Pretty cool. All right, I had to go back to the open world because that was the final boss fight. So I was about to spoil you the final boss fight. Apologies for that. Let me change my ammo to pistol regular ammo and I can have my combat elsewhere. <laughs> but yeah, no spoilers. Again, still a fun game, at least in my experience, especially if you like playing stealth. And while taking cover with third person like this, I really, really like. And here there's a lot of police. Nice hit. Oh, and at the same time I loot vehicles, yeah sure, <laughs> why not? And as you can see the 40 FPS cap stays there 99% of the time. There is stutters but that's a thing with the game itself when loading areas. It's not as egregious as in UE4 games. So I think you should be fine. Even on my main computer I had that's stuttering. 
So that's it. That's Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the Epic Games Store version. If you have the Steam version, less of a focus on stuttering. So that's good. But that's it. Runs at 40s. That's how I recommend you play it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.